and a good spiritual morning to you once again. I'm Father Cosmas. Thank you for joining me today from my prayer corner here at home for a quick chat, a visit, and a morning cup of coffee. <clears throat> and so today is August 6th. It's the Transfiguration. We're celebrating a huge feast day in the life of our church, and we want to say Kronia Pola to our local monastery in Harvard that is celebrating their feast day today. Sorry we, that we cannot be able to be together as we usually have been in years past. Uh, hopefully you watched the live streaming of the service from this morning. And today we're going to be continuing. Uh, there's no good segue for that. We're celebrating a major feast and I'm continuing uh, with this sort of funny little thing that we're doing uh, in honor of the 100th anniversary or 100th episode rather of our video series in answering questions that you submitted uh, to me. And so we're continuing. Yesterday, we only got through five questions. Let's see how many we get through today. So the next question, how does Father Cosmas know what God is calling him to do? That's a deep one. That's a deep question. I was not expecting that. Um, I don't know if that relates to my calling to become a priest or if it's to what I do on a daily basis. I, I don't know. The answer is basically probably the same. Um, you know, you, you, you pray about it, right? You, you sort of stay open, you know, to know, how do you know what God's calling you to do? You have to stay open, right? You don't make up your mind 100%. You try to stay open to possibilities. Know that God might be closing a door, opening a window, closing a window. Maybe you have to shimmy out the chimney or something. And uh, stay open to possibilities. Pray for God's guidance is what I do. Pray for him to tell me what to do, and then trust that if an answer comes, that's what I'm supposed to do. I, I don't know if I'm answering the question correctly. I don't know if it's talking about my calling to the priesthood, um, but that's how I'm choosing to answer it. Hopefully I got it right. What is Father Cosmas's favorite dish or favorite food? Two people actually answered, uh, asked that question rather. Favorite food. So, you know, I grew up in America, obviously, so we like all different kinds of food here in America. Who doesn't like a slice of pizza? I mean, we love pizza. We love hamburgers. I grew up in L.A. I love Mexican food. I love Chinese food, Thai food. I eat pretty much anything, but I'm also 100% Greek, so I love Greek food, all kinds of Greek food. And that's, you know, also, I mean, a good piece of moussaka or, or pasticcio, a, a great piece of lamb. Um, we love that as well. However, we're talking about favorite food, and I'm a bit of a foodie, not really, but a little bit. Um, if you're going to do something wrong, do it right. So if I have my choice, um, my favorite food's probably going to be a good piece of steak, quite honestly. If you're going to bother doing something wrong, we might as well go all the way with it. Um, I'm not a big shellfish person. I'm not going to go out and order lobster or crab. If I'm going to bother doing that, I'm going to get a steak. So there's nothing like a good ribeye or a good tenderloin. And, um, you know, on the side, what do you want on the side of that? A good bottle of wine is pretty much the side dish to a good steak, a good bottle of cab. So that's what I would say for favorite food. Does Father Cosmas have any hobbies? Um, I used to. I used to have hobbies. I used to draw. Um, I used to do woodworking. Uh, I enjoy that. Um, hobbies now, I don't really, you know, my hobbies now is making sure that there's food on the table to feed all the kids that I've got. So, um, and between the church and family, um, don't really have any hobbies unless you count this as a hobby, then maybe this is a hobby. Um, number nine, does Father Cosmas have any pets? I don't have any pets. I'm not a big pet person. Um, I have children who have pets. I've got one son that has fish. Um, and another son that has uh, a bearded dragon. So those are their pets. I have nothing to do with them. They're responsible for them. And people see, you know, I've got kids that, they, you know, they want a dog. They want, you know, hamsters, little, you know, little kids, of course, all the time. And uh, I always tell them, you know what? I have enough people to take care of. I have enough mouths to feed. I don't need more mouths to feed. If we want pets, you can take care of them. So for right now, no, um, we don't have any pets. Uh, I don't have any pets personally. And then uh, number 10 here. Is Father Cosmas a Star Wars fan? Well, that's a tough one. I did do a video review early on, if you remember, where I reviewed, uh, I think it was Rise of Skywalker, because I was not a fan of that movie. Um, I'm really not a fan of the last trilogy. I have seen them. I'm not a fan of the second trilogy, to be honest with you. I grew up in the 70s. I'm a fan of the original Star Wars movies, the first three, the first trilogy. And then I think 
pretty much went downhill from there. The second trilogy is terrible. The third trilogy, I can't even really watch. So, um, and they've made the other kind of movies in the middle, you know, kind of like the in-between movies, Rogue One, Solo. Those are good movies. Um, so I'm not really, I would say, a Star Wars fan. I know that there are real fans of the Star Wars, you know, sort of saga, however many movies they've made now. Too many. Um, but I am a fan of the original three. So I don't know if I can qualify it by saying that way. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Star Wars fan of the original movies. You know, stop. Let's, let's stop it there. And then probably the last question for today that I can take. Um, did Father Cosmas take philosophy courses in college? I did. Actually, almost got a minor in philosophy. I took enough philosophy courses um, in college. I took a lot of philosophy courses in college. My bachelor's degree is actually in psychology. I have a BA in psychology from the University of Massachusetts, although I was living at the seminary. Um, and I took lots of courses um, in, in philosophy and uh, almost, like I said, got a minor in it. I don't know what would make someone think to answer that question. I don't know what that implies about me, that, I'm, that I wax philosophical from time to time, so I must have a philosophy background. I don't know. Um, I'll take it as a compliment. You know, why don't we all take uh, questions that we're unsure of as compliments? So, yes, I took lots of philosophy courses um, in college. And we're going to continue with more questions, I guess, tomorrow, because I can't get through all of these fast enough and uh, keep this going and we'll have more fun with tomorrow's video. Once again, may our Lord and Savior bless us and keep us this day and every day. Amen.